Hi, I'm Jason Bevan, and I used to look after the creative development process at Warner Brothers Pictures and Amir. And I'd love to talk to you today about innovation and creativity and how we used it in big films and how you can use the same principles for yourself in your own day-to-day -day work. I was able to have access to what really, frankly, was some of the most creative and inspirational brains around in the world. And that, to me, was incredibly interesting because I saw that these people are not in some voodoo bubble that the rest of us can't get into. The ideas and principles that they use to develop all of these creative ideas that wow us in Hollywood movies are actually incredibly simple. And I hope these are some things that you can take with you that can help give you a little bit of rocket fuel to be a bit more creative and innovative. Some of the very best ideas from filmmakers and so many others and lots of lines of work comes from a love of rule breaking. Our own expertise our own knowledge, our own insight, our own professionalism and brilliance can often hold us back because we know what works and what doesn't work. And so what we end up doing is coming up with ideas that are basically iterations and tweaks of things that we've done before because we know what people in our industry like, we know what our boss is like, and so we just serve them more of the same. The next tip is all about passion and bravery and commitment to really see your idea through right from the early stages. And here's a really great example. But the guy in the baseball cap is called Todd Phillips, and he was the director of the Hangover trilogy. They got into filming, and he realized that they needed about another $10 million. And so he went to Warner Brothers, and he said, I want that money. And they said, well, we'll give it to you, but you need a bigger star in the movie, because these guys aren't well known enough, and we don't think we're going to get that money back. And so he came back the next day, and he said, OK, fine. I will cut my director's fee, but when we get the level of global takings and box office that you need to justify that extra money, and I want 15% of the net global takings. The Hangover was the biggest R-rated comedy in history. Todd's fee was $70 million. Another great example is how the Harry Potter films set the gold standard for magical creativity for so many years. And there are absolutely no better films that I ever went on than the Harry Potter films to be able to demonstrate this, because the reason for that was that it was all about the children. And so they needed to make sure that regardless of what age you were, you could perform on camera. So they created these incredible, lovely, warm, embracive family atmospheres. And do you know what? That whole spirit pervaded throughout the whole company. But with innovation and creativity, it's more than just important, it's absolutely vital that we're happy. And I'll tell you why, because scientifically, there is a functional process that happens. When we're happy, it releases dopamine into our heads. That is the reward drug, and that is scientifically proven. And when dopamine is released into our head, it helps us, apart from just feeling happy, it helps us focus and be intellectually actually much stronger. Also, the other thing that happens when we're happy is that we can get into the 82% of our brain that is subconscious. Why is that important? Because psychologists have proven that that's where all the ideas come from. The one thing that a lot of people find helps is changing their environment to somewhere different and more refreshing to reboot their thinking. Another quick question. Where were you when you last came up with a good idea? Shower. Where was that shower? Bed. Bed. Yes, very good, sleep, yes. Oh, and a walk, exactly, out getting exercise. Where have we not said? The office, the office. <laughs> those gray walls inside the office, those books that you've been pretending to read in front of the Zooms that you've been doing for the last however long. <laughs> Breathing fresh air, changing your environment, it totally reboots your thinking. It's so simple and fundamental, but it's so easy. Filmmakers are very, very clever like that. They use their film sets to try and get people to reboot their thinking. So those five tips for creativity. Number one, learn the rules and just chuck a rocket at them. Number two, Harry, creative happiness. Bring some positivity and inspiration into the room. Number three, get out, plunge, and refresh your thinking by rebooting with different environments. Number four, look at the idea boldly in the eye. Some of the best ideas can be really scary. And lastly, shake it up with lots of new perspectives and stop your own experience and knowledge from, from limiting your thinking to stay in areas that are safe. Make absolutely no mistake about it. The risks associated with bold creativity are significant, but they are nothing next to the dangers of sameness. Good luck.